Hello everyone, this is Margot from Celestry and today we will look into Serious Game. So a Serious Game is a video game whose purpose is to train as well as entertain. So it's going to combine at the same time uh, the seriousness of teaching something with the fun aspect of a video game. So as you can see, we are starting here as usual from a pre-existing example which has been pre-edited for the benefit of the tutorial and you can find it amongst the example of history under the name series game so it's going to allow you to go through the main blocks that you will need to create a series game and particularly here focusing on the creation of avatar and uh, staging uh, those character so the staging of avatar integrate three main concepts which are character identity which you'll create through the modules on the side then there's the scene setting, which uh, you can do via the background block, which you have in orange, and also, obviously, the character's dialogue, which can be written through the dialogue blocks that you have in blue. So first, we can look into giving an identity to your character in your series game. So to do so and to create your character, you need to go to the module menu, which is on the side right here in white, and then go into module setting and click on character. Uh, you need to know that they will be shared for this module only, so that it is necessary to add your character to each module each time. So here, for example, we have two modules experience and background and as you can see once you're in character um, you can add your characters and you have several entry that we can look into right now first of all the name where you can name your character so it is important to give it a simple but representing enough name so that you'll be able to identify it when then you're gonna uh, make them interact in the dialogue block because it is the name that's going to appear uh, in uh, the dialogue block so for example we have student angry boy here and as you can see the character is indeed angry you can choose their entrance whether they arrive from the right the left or fade so that's more for the presentation of it and then you can also obviously in image download the figure that will represent your character by clicking on the little arrow right here and it's going to open your file uh, in the Sestory app and you can just add your character from uh, photos that will have been pre uh, downloaded within your files and uh, you'll also have the possibility to uh, change, for example, the dialogue appearance. The, that means to say the dialogue box if you want to customize it or the textile. Then uh, we can go into the scene setting and uh, each module of each project has a background by default. So to create and uh, to set in place your scene, you'll need a uh, background block, which you have in orange right here. So when you double click on it, you can see that you can download your background image right here the same way as you've downloaded your character images. And then you can go into show advanced option and you really need to make sure that you choose the position of your image so that the high and low edges of uh, the lower part of your image adapts to the image on screen. Uh, do not hesitate to give uh, your images a personalized title, uh, no effect on uh, the user, but simply for you to recognize it. For example, here we have Office, office France because some of the uh, images can be, for example, from multiple uh, views. For example, we'll have Office Front, Office Side, Office Back, etc. And then you can create your dial blocks to make uh, your characters interact with each other. So when you open the uh, dial block, you will have the possibility to select the character that you want to speak. So here, for example, is woman 10 front happy. But when you click on this menu, you'll have the selection of all the characters that you've uh, created. And you can also as well uh, create new characters from the dialogue block by simply selecting create new character. And to add another character in line, you can simply just press entry in the, uh, the bubbles and it will create a new characters line and then choose the person uh, the and then choose the character that you want to be interacting for so example here we can change to uh, woman six instead of woman 10 and so that will make uh, the two women interact with each other and then you'll just have to type um, which are the line you want them to say. And uh, you can also as well, obviously go into the edit block style from uh, the dialogue block and then here choose uh, the uh, background of your bubble and as well as the police type and uh, the size of the police.
And that's basically it. So now when we play the cut module so that you see how it will uh, appear on your screen, you can uh, see so the character appearing in a background scene and the bubble appearing where you'll be able to interact with it and discuss. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was useful to you. Know that uh, from this example, there are a great amount of uh, backgrounds and character that have been already created that you can use, but you can also as well create your own series game with uh, your own characters that you can have following uh, the tutorial. And uh, it is now basically up to you as usual to uh, create your own game. So I will see you in a very next video. Bye.